Alright, these are some Remington 100 round boxes. 22 round nose. These I paid $7.99. Dick Sporting Goods, which does not sell ammunition in the state anymore, were $9.99 a box. But I had a coupon code and I got them for $7.99. Well, I was selling all my 525 packs, which were all gone. And one of the persons who bought those from me, a couple of boxes from that, emailed me, wanted to know if he had any more 525 packs that I was selling for $40. I paid $30 for them. Okay? Online, they were $100, $80 a box. So I says, no, I have some of these Remington 100 round boxes. Round nose, very good. So he wanted to know how many I had. I says, how many do you want? So he says, I'll take 40 boxes. So I haven't packed up 40 boxes. This was two and a half months ago. Emailing back and forth that he was coming to meet me, uh, make a day, make a time and stuff, and you don't hear nothing from him. You email him back, he goes, oh, I forgot about it, and so on. Well, it's been going back and forth, and the last time I heard from him was six weeks ago. Now, I dug these all out, get them all ready. So when you play games with people, sometimes it comes back to haunt you. Well, if you're not following the news, they want to stop online ammo sales, which they do that here nationwide, you can't buy ammunition online anymore. For me, Dick Sporting Goods was the only retailer in this state to buy. Walmart never sold ammunition here. And if you go to the gun range, they're only going to sell you a couple of boxes that you're going to shoot that day. So if you go over to gun range, they may be out of ammunition. Then you got to go home with nothing. Waste of time. Well, say... This guy goes out of state to Pennsylvania to Cabela's. And they put a background check in now. You got to go through a background check. Well, you all know about background checks. They used to be 15 to 20 minutes. Now they may extend them. A few hours. Maybe it's a few days. Who knows? So you're going to drive all the way to Cabela's. You're going to buy ammunition. But the background check don't come back. What do you do? You camp out in your car, you meant to uh, get a motel room, or you drive all the way back home again, and then go back. So it's going to cost you more money in gas and back and forth with the aggravation. So you don't know what's going on in the future. I don't have to worry about buying ammunition in the future. Never have to worry about that. So basically these, now the store is closed. These are all going back in the ammo cans. And in the future, for the new family member, when they start shooting, they'll have ammunition at a good deal. The couple of dollars that I was making, two dollars, that's $80 in profit. I don't need the $80. That ain't gonna make me rich. But I'll keep these. Because for the 80 bucks, in the future, maybe the ammunition will be a lot more money that you can't get. You, know, you see what's going on here. So, when you play games, sometimes it comes back to bother with you. So if he emails me again, I'm not even answering the email. Store's closed. I'm doing you a favor. These boxes are selling for $19.99. To $24.99 online. Sportsman Outdoor Superstore. Go check out their prices. $24.99. Okay? So these people are taking advantage of people. Gun broker. Selling at crazy prices. I'm selling for 10 bucks. That's what they were going for back then. $7.99 to $9.99. Some were $8.99. Then you add tax to that. So to push the price up. But here I'm trying to give you a good deal. And you play games with me. Uh, I had a guy down south. 
that bought a lot of 525 packs. He bought five of these because his wife just got her first firearm. He is set. He's the one that told me about Dick's Sporting Goods not selling ammunition. So he knows about it. But he's, he prepared himself. The writing is on the wall. I'm trying to help out. But you people, they, you just don't care. So email me. Tell me you're not interested. Don't jerk me and tell me, oh, get them all ready. I got 40 boxes here ready to go out. Well, now they're going back in the ammo cans. Store is closed.